You guys, welcome to episode number six of the Derby Current Live. And to start off this episode, we're currently second in the table, joint on points with West Ham, Everton, and Manchester United, our first opponents of the episode at Old Trafford. Then we've got the Champions League, our very first Champions League game for Derby County, of course. Then Newcastle, Arsenal, and potentially the Villarreal game. It depends on the score lines, of course. Like in the last episode, we only managed to get one game done, but it was a six goal thriller. So it's like, it's one of them where obviously each goal adds up the time of the episode. And uh, yeah, I like to keep around that 15 minute mark. So really can't wait to get into the Champions League. It's going to be so good um, to see how, how well we do, if we can get to the knockout stage or not. I think I think we should advance through the group with the squad that we've got. Um, it's just whether what teams we get drawn against in the next round, because with Bar Bayern Munich on our group, we're probably only going to finish second. So into the game against Man United, then I will be using our fluorescent kit. I really do like that kit, to be honest. There's just something about it that just makes it look really nice. Um, and I think we will go with a fully fit lineup. I was debating whether to play a bit of a weaker team and then play a stronger team in the Champions League, but since we're in such a good um, bit of form at the moment, we may as well go with the same team. Here's the Man United lineup then for today's game. They've gone for a 4-2-3-1, a pretty weak team in fairness. There's there's still a few decent players in there, but uh, Romero in goal, no David De Gea, Bustos, Lindelof, Smalling, Suarez, and um, Fellaini and Matic holding. Lingard, Demobe, and uh, Martial and Lukaku up front. Obviously, they have just signed Sanchez in real life, but obviously that deal's not going to go through on this career mode. Um, but obviously, some of those younger players are still going to be like quite high rated, so still going to be a tough uh, opposition. And obviously, we were literally on the verge of getting Jesse Lingard on deadline day, and um, he's against us today. Lingard with the ball into the box. A four has not dealt with that at well, and it's gone into the back of the net. We just really failed on so many fronts there. I don't know where Darmian was, to be honest, for the uh, cross of Lingard. Nobody really marking him, and uh, Lukaku's found the back of the net to make it 1 0 in the first 20 minutes. It's going to be a tough way to get back as well. As you can see here, Lingard, it was like Hughes on him in the end. I could have... The thing is, I went for like the fancy pass to like try and um, do something obviously counter-attackive, but I should have just cleared it up the pitch. And um, yeah, we've conceded. I think I'm going to just sub off Adams now. He's, he's really slow on the ball when I'm sprinting with him. He hasn't got that pace. He's got like 97 pace, but it felt about 80 then. Um, and I think I'll bring on Tam. He's, he's obviously... I'm hoping he can get back into form. But uh, it's gonna it's gonna be one of them where like because he hasn't got the best of dribbling if you compare him with Adams who's got over eighty, um, it's gonna be a bit of a tough one. But I think making the subs the right thing to do, um, as he's not doing too well. Ball goes out to Ox. Can we get a decent delivery into the box? It's gone into Tammy. Can he get the second? Yes, he can. And it's in the back of the net. He's he's had a positive impact. I'm really glad that I made that change. He just didn't feel too good. And Che Adams, like when I was sprinting with him, he just wasn't quite at it and um, yeah I don't know what that is really goalkeeper positioning maybe but we got a little bit lucky with the ball just bobbling up for him and uh, we've made it 1-1 just before the end of the first half really important time to get that goal ball into Tammy Smallin's put a foot in but it's through for Tammy and he's in the back of the net we've literally had a perfect um, 45 minutes plus two minutes to get the Two goals here, obviously, start of the second half. We've gone through with Tammy, and he's got two goals in two minutes to uh, turn it around at Old Trafford. A great start to the second half. Really can't complain. It's a great ball, in fairness, from both Ox and Vidra. I don't know if you... The ball here from Vidra, perfectly um, paced and really good finish. I'm really glad he's got those goals because I was really worried that he just wouldn't hit the form um, like he was last season. But may maybe, like, in the summer, he does really well. But then when it gets cold... Um, he doesn't do too well. Oh, chance here for Lukaku. It's ricocheted through. Still got the ball with Lukaku. He's gone across to Demabay and he's found the back of the net. I think that's Demabay anyway. Um, I'm not 100% sure who he is. He might he might be a youth player, but he might be a uh, he might be Turkish. I'm not sure, to be honest, but uh, found the back of the net. Mourinho there celebrating with the players that, that would never happen I don't think I've ever seen a player run over to Mourinho and celebrate it's, it's one of them things that he's one of them play, people but again my keeper like he's got some incredible stats but like he should be really saving that he's really unfortunate is his first goal this season for us and uh, I have just taken off Hendrik for Hansen just so he can uh, use Hendrik in the Champions League chance for Abraham to run at the defense he's got the pace but can he 
get around Smaldini. He's got it back into Vidra. Now into Hughes. Hopefully he can get the shot off. And he has into the back of the net. Will Hughes. Really glad I kept him on the pitch. I was debating whether to take off Hendrick or uh, Hughes to rest one of them for the next game. But I uh, thought I'd go for Hendrick. Kind of similar-ish to Hansen. And it's paid off because obviously he's got that very good uh, shooting ability. Because obviously I've put him in training and got it really good. So really nice volley. And we probably deserve to win this game as well. And there it is. Full time against Man United. We've won 3-2. We managed to hold on. Um, obviously 3-3 in the City game. It was an early mistake for us to concede that goal from Lukaku. A couple of minutes here. Tammy Abraham replying. And then, yeah, I think he is the Turkish guy. He must be. Um, and then Will Hughes with the late goal to get the winner against Man United. And I'm really glad. Like, we had three shots on target and three goals. It's kind of, kind of a little bit of AIDS, but that's FIFA for you. Big injury then to Che Adams. He is going to be out for two months with a broken toe. I don't know what I can redeem from that. I could have kept him on a little bit longer for that game then. I don't know if it would have affected him at all. Um, but it's it's a real shame that he's going to be out until um, November now. So it's... There isn't... There's a little bit of a gap here in October. A couple of weeks, obviously. Um, but all in all, he's going to miss one, two, three, four, five... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 probably games. So it's one of them where it's a little bit of a shame. But at the same time, I'm glad that we've got those um, backup options in Tammy and uh, Danny Ings, of course. If I didn't get Danny Ings, then we would have been a little bit light, I think, in that area. We also want to play this next game against Bruges, which I don't mind. It is away from home and we do need to be winning both of these games against Villarreal and Bruges because we're unlikely to get points against Bayern. Um, we'll see what fitness is like. We'll have a look. Of course, obviously, Adams out for two months is going to be a massive miss. Um, and it means now we've only really got two strikers. So, going to have to be uh, careful with what we go for. I will go for our... I do like this kit, but I obviously like to mix it up a little bit. So, we'll go with our home kit. And, um, yeah, looking at the lineup, there are a few... Fitness issues here and there. I might, yeah, I think I'll put Rawson in and um, see how he does in this game. Here we are then, the first Champions League game for Derby County. Really glad. I know it's taken us four seasons, but we're here now. And um, we have made quite a few changes to the lineup. I've decided to go for Sports Yellow and Gold, just to give him a game, of course. Um, Wisdom, Rawson, Dunk, Low, all back four. Changed only Hendrick and uh, Simon, the two starters from the last game against Man United. And uh, Tammy obviously came on in about the 40th minute. Um, but you'll be interested to see how Schurler does. Obviously, this is his opportunity to get into the team. And um, a few other players here and there. Looking at their team then, they've gone for Horvath in goal. Um, I'm probably going to just say the names that I know. Because I don't. I know Vossen up front. He used to play for Middlesbrough, I think. Jello Vossen. Or was it Brentford? It's one or the other anyway. Um, and I think that's the only one I really know. That DRB guy is quite fast as well. Um, but other than the two strikers, I don't really know this team. But again, it's a five at the back, so... It's going to be interesting to see how we do against them and uh, really hope we can kick off the Champions League with a win. Chance here for Bruges and it's a goal. I really didn't expect that to go in. I was expecting the keeper to do something but it is Van Aken I think that is um, with the goal. Yeah. <laughs> didn't really expect that to go in. I was like, oh, chance here for Bruges and it's in the back of the net just like that. Diaby with the ball then. And first time shot. And why is my keeper going with his left hand? If he went with that for, with his right, he might have saved that. But he went with his left. And it, it really does annoy me how bad the mechanics are for goalkeepers this year. But it's a part of the game. I can still exploit the goalkeepers and exploit the kickoff glitch here. Can we get a goal though? Off the post. Really close. Chance here in the box. And it's two. Like... I just can't defend against this Club Brews team. They're playing well, but it's like one of them things where because they're so bad, the sliders are more difficult. It's it's really complicated. Like I've beaten teams like City and United, but Club Brews, now that's that's a difficult game, Luke. Look at the passing here, ridiculous. First time shot again, like I can't close him down if he's literally gonna shoot as soon as he gets the ball. I don't know what I can do. Chance for Bruges, and it's three. Don't know what I can do. I really don't get this game sometimes. Again, I think that's another first time shot. Just deflects. Poor pass from Rawson. 
just can't do anything. I, ge I genuinely don't know. Like, this is really bad for goal difference as well. Next full time against Bruges, 3-0 to them. They probably deserved it. We were pretty poor up top and uh, could have done with Che Adam. Got this message from Rawson. I feel I did well. Conceded three goals. But we are joint top with West Ham and Everton, so still got the league to look forward to, of course. That, that could be more important, in my opinion. I think winning the Premier League would be a lot more a lot more of an accomplishment than winning the Champions League. But uh, we'll have to wait and see, of course. We're going to go into this next game against Newcastle. Going to give them their... I think I'll give them the black kit just in case, because if it's sunny sometimes, the blues do look white. Let's have a look at the Newcastle lineup then for today's game. They've gone for a 4 4 1 1. Robles in goal. Najor, Abdenyor, Lejeune, Masuaku, Aarons, Barrios, Gary Medell, Atsu, Asmoon, and Smolnov up front, the Russian. So it's an interesting team. Like there's there's some really old players in there, and then there's some pretty young ones, and Joel Robles in goal. Fully fit team again for us. I could have maybe done with playing a first team in the Champions League and I think that's what we're probably going to have to do, compromise in the league and uh, play our first team in the Champions League. There's full time against Newcastle, really stalemate, just really really, like that's it, that's the that's the chances. Hit the post here with Vidra early on, that was a, if he was in a bit more form Vidra probably would have scored that um, then we get this chance here for Tammy, not really much in it, he's just blasted it over and Newcastle get this chance. And that's all they could show. Because that's how stale it was. It's an excellent cross. That. <laughs> it's like... I don't know what I could have done in that game. I don't know if I need to change to that 5-3-2. That's one thing we looked at earlier on in the season. Next game against Arsenal then. What we could do is play this. Obviously we're going to have to take Adams out. or put Tammy in. Um, but it means... The only issue is I don't know if we have the squad. Like, we, do we have enough strikers? I know we can obviously play Schürrle. Up top, if need be. Um, but it worked very well last year against City. Obviously, we were 3-0 down. Got that point, And that point in the end meant we got into the top four, I think. So, I'm, I'm a bit reluctant, though, to try it out against um, a team like Arsenal. The only other thing as well, because we dropped the points against Bruges, of course. Um, the next game is against Villarreal in three days' time. It is on the Wednesday, in fairness. We have got an extra day. On top of the one against Bruce, so I think I think I'll go with a fully fit team. We're doing very well in the league. That's the only thing that's keeping me um, in it. Obviously, they probably lost their first game. I'm guessing. Let me have a look where um, Billarella are in the uh, table. So yeah, for Bayern Munich won. Um, so as long as we win the other game against Bruce and with both the games against Villarreal, we're in the good. Um, but it it really depends on whether Bruce beat Villarreal twice as well. And maybe if they beat Bayern Munich, I'm expecting Bayern to win all their games. But you never know in football. So let's go into the next one against Arsenal. I'm kind of tempted to give it a go. But like we, we're we unbeaten against Manchester City and United with um, the 4-2-3-1. Uh, is it the time to test? Here we are then at Emirates. I think this was actually the last game of last season, I think. I think we ended at the Emirates. We have gone for the five of the back. We've got uh, Kajar, Dunk and Kerr as the back three. Oxley chamberlain at right wing back against his former club. Obviously, they play a similar-ish formation. Obviously, um, one of those attacking players goes into the midfield. And is a bit of a weak Arsenal team, to be honest. But then again, we, we struggled against United quite a bit. And they, they had a pretty weak team as well. So, they've got Schuler in the middle. Ospina, Martinez, Pereira, Chambers, Garcia, El Nene, Coquelin, Walcott... Welbeck and Laxalt from Genoa, I think that is, the Uruguayan. So, a bit of a strange um, team, but again, let's hope we can win. I don't know what I can do. These goals are really frustrating me now, because I'm like, I can't defend it. I literally cannot do anything to stop first-time shots from players and just looping into the back of the net like that. Like, El Nene with the ball here into... Um, Welbeck, then into Walcott, and it's identical to the first um, goal against Club Bruges. If you watch that back, it's picture literally just identical. There's nothing I can do about that, and it's 1-0 to Arsenal. Now into Hughes. Can we reply straight away? It's across to Simon. Yes, we can. Really good that we got Simon a goal as well. He hasn't actually scored this year yet, um, and it's, it's nice to see him on the score sheet. Nice bit of passing play. Hughes 
inside to Simon and he slots it away nicely to get us back into it. Gets his first goal through for Walcott and again he's had his first time shot in the back of the net. A little less um, annoying obviously I could have tracked the run a little bit better and uh, yeah maybe the keeper could have done a bit better but Walcott there with a second makes it 2-1 against Arsenal. It's just really frustrating like every single goal that's scored against me at the moment seems to be just a first time finish and I just can't do anything. Ball we'll through here. It's against Martinez. Martin's got obviously got the pace. Has he got the finish? Yes, he has. 2-2. Two -two. Really needed that goal. It's, it's nice to see Simon working well in this formation. It's just a bit of a shame we've conceded those two goals. But obviously, really nice weight, weighted pass. Simon at quite a tight angle. P keeper probably should do a bit better, but it has come off the post. And he has got his uh, second goal. There it is. Full time against Arsenal. 2-2 two -two draw in the end. Probably a fair result in fairness. They... Did well, obviously, Walcott, the Everton man now, getting a couple of goals, and um, it's two shots on target for them, 15 shots for us, and it's a draw. Bit of growth to Rawson then to finish off the episode. He's got very good uh, tackling stats in fairness now. It's only 75 rated, still got um, probably stats of an 80, but uh, nevertheless, if you look at the squad fitness, if I simulate up to the Villarreal game, we can see whether we can use our first team or not for that game. We have got Spurs after that as well. Um, it looks pretty good, so we, we will be using a fully fit team at home as well. We were away, in fairness, in that first game of the uh, Champions Cup. But just looking at the Premier League to end off the episode, we are, if it wants to load, there we go. We are fourth, two points behind leaders Everton, obviously still unbeaten. So I don't mind that we've drawn against City, Arsenal and... Who do we first game? I think we beat... We beat uh, Forest first game of the season, didn't we? I'm trying to remember what third draw was against, but anyway, three three wins, three draws, and uh, 12 points on the board. If we can get a good win in the next episode, we got Spurs to uh, kick off our Premier League side, but obviously Villarreal to start off the episode. Then um, Southampton, Bayern Munich, and potentially the West Ham game. So still some tough games. I must say that next episode is going to be very difficult indeed. Can we even get a win on the board? We'll have to wait and see. So hopefully, guys. Did enjoy this episode? Leave a like if you did enjoy, and see you soon. Bye.